Welcome to Game Devs Play Games, where you can watch games and practice game design. And uh, we are here with some freaking Mega Maker. Mega Maker. This is uh, this is from the Mega Maker team, which is a uh, fairly large staff. Um, fan made, and this is something I have been waiting for since I was eight. <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna say since we saw that Mario Maker was a thing, this is like definitely. It was came the very to mind. first. Yeah, the very first. We actually might have talked about it on the Mario Maker episode. Oh, I, like I can't wait for them to make a Mega Man Maker. I think we which did. We kind of said as a joke, but like, like well, a, we, that will never happen. And obviously, other people had the same idea. <laughs> and uh, here we are. This was started by on Twitter. He just goes as I think it's a he anyway. Uh, wrecking programs, and uh, on the website for this project. He, in the about section he talks about how like as the scope started increasing because it's a lot of work and i spilled coffee all over my notebook <laughs> uh you <laughs> got a full team more, they recruited more people so this is this is work done by like eight seven maybe six or seven people i think we can we can go to the credits and and, and reveal how how many people are actually involved but i mean they credit everybody test players and all that stuff too anyway so here we are uh, so the plan is to play some levels that come with it. Yeah, play some levels. We'll, we'll here we we can play one level that comes with it, and then one like that somebody's posted and hope that it's not, you know, uh, mean, and that I can actually get through it. And then and can we access other people's levels just through the game itself? Yes. Ah, actually, it's that's like super nice. It, it, its ability to like connect online is super quick, and like they're pretty good about it. It's, very easy. That's. I think that's really important to make a game like this successful, or a tool system slash game like this successful, mm -hmm. because uh, I, I think that's what keeps a lot of people out of the modding community, is when they're like, I have to go download these asset bundles from like this sketchy-ish website, it's, and, and risk getting viruses. It's not intuitive, and, yeah. and no, this is like, it, there's a few things, but like, it, for the most part, it so smooth and it feels like you're playing Mega Man to make a Mega Man game it really does all right so we're gonna play uh got some examples these are all from the creators uh, and so this is Mega Man one through six you were telling me one through six okay you can do assets or levels or characters or anything from all of the uh what slide enabled charge from Mega Man six okay so they Right, we're gonna go back just because I want the example of being able to use weapons. Ah. That sounds... Here, we'll do Napalm Factory. Yeah, there we go. Alright, slide enabled, charge, Mega Man 6. Done. Oh, I see, and those are all the types of weapons you start with. Yes. Gotcha. Once again, you can have a mashup of weapons from any of the Mega Mans. Mm -hmm. um, and when we... Ne next episode, we'll get into actually creating, but you can actually switch up the bad guy's weakness. Oh really? Yeah, uh, that's so mean. It's it, I mean it's pretty cool to like I really want to make a level that's all about like you're fighting the boss and you're trying to figure out what his weakness is. Mm -hmm. And so you're just kind of like living in a moment. Okay, so we got that cool crash man. All right, uh, that's able to make your uh, platform cool. And do we? So this is just normal shot. We don't have. Do we have a slide or dash in this one? Okay, we do. But there's no. Oh, you do have a charge. Okay, so it's like. All the good stuff. <laughs> yeah, so this is cool. I feel like... Almost all the good stuff. You were telling me that uh, you can configure, like, you can have the charge from 4, 5, or 6 because they're all different. Mm -hmm. um, I don't remember the difference between 5 and 6s. Mm. Oh, you're annoying. It could just be, like, a damage difference. Um, well, okay, so in Mega Man 4, the charge shot was not useless. And the reason mm. why is because there was no, um, most enemies didn't have, like, a armor to protect them. Like, our bosses, rather. Mm. Didn't have an armor to protect them. And the charge shot only did, like, two damage. Two, two damage instead of one. And you had to charge it for longer, so instead, why not just blast them with shots? The only time it was really, there was any point in ch charging is when you're transitioning from one level to the next. I see. Whereas these guys that you're shooting down there, the charge shot goes through their shield? Uh, no, it just, um, but it does do significantly more damage to make it actually worth its uh, mm. time. That makes sense. Oh, no. <laughs> well, then. It begins. Yes. And you you have unlimited lives? Yeah, and that's that's kind of one of my issues with it. Um, and and the only reason I 
point that out as like really an issue at all is because um, I guess just like ultimately part of the fun of Mega Man was like the fear of losing. Yeah. I mean, are there checkpoints or is it like... There are checkpoints, yes. Oh, okay. you, can, you can put in checkpoints. That was one of the things they decided not to suffer from like uh, Mario Maker did. Where like the first like two months the game was out, there were no checkpoint systems. It's and like it was... the most requested feature. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, at least Nintendo listened, if not already had that in mind, but... It was kind of just strange that they didn't have it in mind from the beginning. I, I agree. I mean, maybe to them it was like a, will this be worth the amount of time it takes to implement? Mm -hmm. that, that can be really tricky to do, right? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Not only implementing it for the purposes of, of the, the maker, but the the player as well. Mm -hmm. and, and I guess in the case of Mega Maker, um, the risk with them doing it is, and you were telling me this uh, before we started recording, is that you use up the energy from your weapons. Mm -hmm. um, but if you die, it's not replenished. It's not, so you, you have to rely on just picking up the... Damn, you have to re uh, rely on picking up the... the energy. Energy, uh, or, I don't know, capsules. Mm-hmm. Which I guess, like, at least you always have that as an option, so you're not ever truly stuck. Mm. It just means that you probably will have to grind in some scenarios. It's an extra life. That's kind of pointless. See, that's the other thing. It's like you can put in extra life on, on into the stage, but there's no purpose to it. Mm. I mean, I know that they're still working on this, so maybe that's like a case of, like, it's there in case they start to allow players to build strings of levels together. Oh, absolutely. And there we go. Ah. Um, and, and there's a clear... Ah, asshole. Uh, there is a clear understanding like that there is still a lot of development to be made. And you can tell... Any day? You can tell uh, because they... Uh, when you, like, go to make a level... I keep hitting the wrong button. That's why it says happening. Anyway, um, as you're... How do I get across there? I have to use... Oh, that was stupid of me. Right. Uh, there is a... When you're, when you're making the levels, you can put in the bosses. But every um, Mega Man 1 through 6, they only give two of the bosses for each one. Oh, okay. So they're like... There's, there's obviously some room for improvement there. Oh, okay, Nathan. Well, <laughs> I guess you're just... Destined to fail this. And then it's going to end up, so I can't actually use that. Oh, hmm. wrong weapon. Unless you just do it from the left cell. And climb up from there. Yes. Probably not. Well, yeah, I guess I could. I don't have the energy for it anymore because I fucked around too much. So we'll wait. Dang it, Nathan. Yeah, yeah. So the other cool thing about this is that... At least I remember hearing this. Wasn't this officially okayed by Capcom? I do not know about that. Uh, what we were talking about was that um, we were talking about is that they they released this and people were like, "Oh man, they're gonna get hit by Capcom pretty hard." And I was like, "I don't know if that's actually true or not," because Capcom actually officially sanctioned the uh, the Mega Man versus Street Fighter game fan game that came out. And that one was like. A little bit more surprising because that's like a modification of two different games in one. Yeah, using very obvious assets from multiple sources. Although I guess the argument could be made that because it's so different than anything Capcom would be doing with those IPs, that maybe it's like it's not even competitive because they weren't going to do it. Right. And maybe they looked at this and they're like, well, we weren't going to make a Mega Maker, so sure. <laughs> right. I, and I mean... If, if they did officially sanction, that's probably the thought process behind it. Um, or it, they just already laid the groundwork for them to make it easier. That's true, too. Yeah, because Capcom at any point could just be like, eh, we're going to make our own. Right. And, like, this helps show not only Capcom that there's a market for it, uh, <laughs> but would also no, build no, no. hype for it. That was lucky. Eh, it's damage boosting. It's not lucky. I mean... Oh. All right. See, I do. That's Ooh. what I do enjoy about um, being able to make your own stages. Is you can put, you can uh, like put those those hidden secrets. Like I didn't know this was gonna lead to the next area. Yeah, or that was... a next area because you can make multiple branching paths. And it makes me wonder what they would have done on the other path because it seems like it would have been easier to just fall down than kill that guy and go off to the right. Um, but like level design wise. 
that was kind of cool. Right. Uh, and it was, it, it seemed like an inevitable punishment, but I guess if I had been able to kill that guy, I would have reached some, like, new secret area. Yeah, and for, I guess, like, I wonder if there is much of a reward for with that. for doing things like that. Um, because obviously they can give you in in level assets like, you know, full health or energy replenishment, but, like, more lives isn't really useful right now. Yeah. And you can't get new abilities either. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, so, like, that beating is... a boss isn't really... It, it, beating a boss isn't useful other than just getting your victory. You're not getting their abilities for the next level. Yeah, which I'm, I'm wondering if they have do plan on having something like that. Um, that was one thing that we talked about with Mario Maker as well, is that one thing that would be really cool for them to implement would be... Uh, a like collection a of, collection of levels like you you make yeah. four levels that are all themed together or something like that I'd, and they obviously should do something like that here that as would, well that would probably get me back into mario maker too honestly but yeah i'd be way into that because it's like you can have more complex relationships w between those levels and that's part of what made mega man so smart in even from like the very first one because the whole concept of the levels were built around, like, getting those upgrades. Okay. Ooh. Well, I knew I was gonna die, it was just a matter of, like, trying to find out what his weakness was. Mm. And you missed my, like, mad dash under his missiles earlier, it was... It was sexy. I felt... I felt good. I felt good about who I was. This is a really cool boss. Like, look at this level. That's awesome. It is pretty sweet. I guess I do like okay, that they, they let you change a boss's weakness, too, because if, say, you build a level under a very specific theme, and you only want to give your player, like, one one type of uh, special, or, you know, a couple of very specific ones, but you have a boss that would be perfect for the level, but wouldn't match uh, the weakness, at least it allows you to kind of modify it to be fair to the player. Yeah. Yeah, you can... Well, I know you can also give them two weaknesses, you can give oh. them immunity. You could even make one of their weaknesses the actual buster gun. Um, <laughs> which would be interesting because like at that point what you're basically doing is you're saying like, here's a boss, he's gonna be challenging, but you can you can kill him relatively quickly. Mm. It's mm. just a matter of like just like a do or die situation. So you can do that. Where are we at on time? Okay. We have seven minutes. Cool. Let's do uh let's find somebody's level and uh Oh right, we have to enter a password. Get a login. Boom, boom, boom. All right, so uh, let's find some levels. We're gonna, yeah, I'm uh, curious we're to browse. see how this works. So so these are newest. Is Have you noticed that there's a lot of activity on this right now, or is it just kind of like there's a few really passionate creators? Well, let's see. I played yesterday, and these were none of the ones that I played. So at least we know that there's been en enough levels that I'm, I haven't seen these yet. That's pretty cool. Oh, I see. What was... I might have played that one. So I think I think there's been about 10, 12 levels or something like that since I last played. No, okay, you know, to be fair, of... when I say less... Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, that being said, you can see that there's not a lot of up, like, upvotes or downvotes. Yeah, yeah. So here, let's uh, let's uh. Although go that's back it's and cool that search. that's a thing. Um. Oh. No, I don't. I. I mm, mm, nope. Just, just go. Just go. Just, 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 just. <laughs> okay. 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 What is miscellaneous? Guess I have to use mouse here. Oh. All right. So we can search oh. by <laughs> best rating, worst rating, most played. So I wonder if most popular is highest rated and highest or most played. Well, dang. I mean, I guess once you're in the top 10%, then you just like steamroll from there. Yeah. All right, let's uh, let's play the invincible uh, nipple man chase. Cool. Created by Doctor Zonian. Zonian. Z Z Zonian. You can actually play. You can also download their level so you can play it offline. Okay. <laughs> So they, they kind of followed the Mario Maker structure. Yeah. Which I think that structure was solid, so... Oh. Can I just kill him? 
I cannot kill him. He's immune. Oh. And I have no additional weapons. Awesome. <laughs> oh. So it's you have to run away. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, I can see why yeah. this got popular. Yeah. I think this is one of my favorite things about Mario Maker was seeing how people broke the conventions of the game and still made really interesting levels with that. Absolutely. Um, I'm, I'm wondering, like, how does his AI work? Is it that... Does he just chase you infinitely? Because I remember trying to make chase levels in Mario Maker and they did not work. Whoa. Whoa, he's catching up. Whoa. Ah. Mm. Ooh. That's a good point, though. I mean, I, I think there are ways to make it work in Mario Maker. You just have to had to have some finesse with it. Looks yeah. like you could go down there. Could I? I think so. Ah! <laughs> ah! 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 Making me jump. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Is that a checkpoint? All right. So there's fit? there's three victory terms to beat a level. There's either kill the boss. Or you can put in just like a little orb that when you pick it up, you, you get it. Uh. Or that one I've never seen before, which I guess is you shoot it in party ball. Yeah, you win. Yeah, that was pretty sweet. Boom. Yeah. Cool. How much time have I left? Four minutes. All right. All right. All right. Cucumber castle? <laughs> Duh. What? I guess there's no boss. Either that or it's randomized. Hmm. Oh. Well, <laughs> well, <laughs> I guess we can't win. <laughs> all right, all right. Oh. All right. Huh. So it's all just right. telling you, like, hey, these things are gonna exist. I would love to make like a a haunted house uh maze style. Oh, I'd be way into that. Hammer Joe, Hammer Joe. Ah. Wait, wait, wait. Yes! <laughs> I like how in this level they kind of teach you how these things can be used. That's so cool. Yeah, it really does feel like a tutorial level almost. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh. 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 Yeah, this is cool. I'm going to get way into this. Oh no. Think this like what? Who do you think this game appeals to most? I think just like Super Mega Man original fans. Yeah, I don't think it's going to appeal too much to ah uh, a life I missed out on. Look what I can do. I can, I can go get back hit by Hammer Joe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, go away. Yeah. Yeah, it's um. What was I going to say? Who this appeals to? Yeah, it's... I would definitely say original players. Um, and I mean, like, probably, like, older players than me. Yeah, I feel like Mega Man hasn't... Hasn't really kept up with the ages. So, like... Your My Generation was one of the last couple of... Of groups of people that I think really got into the Mega Man games. It's like you and I grew up with the X series. Yeah. Um, and then after the X series, I think it just kind of like slowly faded. Like, Legends picked up a, a pretty decent crowd, but I think that was also a lot of the diehard X fans. Yeah. Oh. Hey, look at me. Ooh. Getting rewarded. All right, all right. So here we have to do this. No! Oh, That's wait. tricky. Can I just come back to it? Can I just. He 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 he. <laughs> Ooh. Unless there's an easier way to do I it. I want the E tank, Bob. <laughs> Give me the E tank. How do you oh, I got crushed. <laughs> I was crushed there. Alright, we're not gonna worry about the E tank this time. Yeah. Yeah, I'm curious to see. I guess maybe like what some not so good levels would look like. <laughs> well, we have both played a de decent amount of Mario Maker, so I oh, I feel like we can we can think about what it would have looked like. Well, it's like if you look at the tools no, of curious. of how to of like what a, a system like this gives you. So like Mario Maker, Mario Maker certainly oh, gave there's, you. Oh, there's nails there. That's what I died on. 
Oh. Again, you were saying, sorry. So Mario Maker, the tools I think encouraged people to just like spam enemies and have shitty platforms. Um, yeah. Just like from a really general way of looking at it, like that was what the tools sort of encouraged or didn't discourage creators from doing. Yeah, I don't think it, because most play, people just felt like being sadistic about it and just making really mean levels. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I, it makes me wonder if what tools they give us in Mega Maker, how might that not discourage players from doing other bad things? Like, would this game suffer from the same problems that Mario Maker did? Or is it going to have different design issues that... I, and, you know, I, I expect it will um, have Probably. different design issues. I, I feel like, too, that these... You can clearly... There's a lot of motivation uh, with this for... Um, that's a trap. I oh, know, I could just... <laughs> Sorry, Rush, buddy. No! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so there's a knee tank there. There's a knee tank right there. How do I... Maybe rush? How far does How he do I, jump you up? Not that high. Boing. Ooh. Okay. So maybe, maybe it's I like... Get, I have to go there from going up. There's a ladder there. Uh -huh. Another cool thing I'm, ha I'm happy they did is they, they allowed you to use the triggers to do an... Oh, crap. Ooh. Whoa! Right. They allow you to use the triggers to change weapons on the spot. The original, I, I think it. I don't know if they had a button for that in any of the original ones. Like you had to pause in the original. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds wow. about right. This is awesome. This is hard. Yeah, this level I, I feel like is pretty well designed through and through. Like it, it had the length to justify them teaching the player how these platforms work. Right. Uh, whereas the first level we played out of the, like, creator group, um, it was super short. But you're not dead. Oh, whoa! Oh, that's how you get the E-Tank. Yeah! I messed up. And, oh no. Super Ooh. punishing. Oh Ooh. man. Is it worse than death? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> man, alright. Just don't miss everything this time. You get hit you by. You must everything. have patience, Nathan. Patience. Shh. I have two health. That's fine. I feel like that's something that original Mega Man players needed in order to get good. Was just two patience. Health. <laughs> two health. Two health. That's all I needed. <laughs> Man. Uh. All right. Crap. <laughs> Checkpoint. That's why they give you infinite lives here. So, I, I, thinking about the infinite lives, I'm not so opposed to it. I think it does kind of devalue the fear of failure. But in another sense, I think that it, what it does is it sets up the game to be less punishing for players that play badly designed levels. Yes. So, I mean, Mario Maker is indicative of that, that issue, right? Where Mario Maker was like, a lot of the creators were just they were making the most difficult levels they could conceive. Yeah. You and start and off like, the level and you just land on a bed of spikes. Yeah, like, they, okay, they cool, were punishing, uh... not challenging. And so, like, Mega Maker, while it has a small audience right now, um, oh, totally has the... Okay. It this totally has the, the chance of suffering that same fate, of just mm -hmm. having a shitload of players that are like, I'm going to make the most evil level I can. Because apparently that's how a lot of level designers get... I wonder if, too, there is there's going to be a difference in good levels versus bad levels because of a certain amount of, like, culture that Mega Man players had versus Mario players. And by oh, that, I mean yeah. Mario is much more successful, much more popular than Mega Man is, right? Because it's Mario. But there, you know, it, there's also Mega Man. So people who play Mega Man, they play it because they appreciate the insane level design. Right, um, right. It, it just, it's very rewarding. It's very challenging to play a Mega Man game, and that's why. It had inherently more difficult level design, but also I'd say the core mechanics were more complicated and, and more challenging to to do successfully. Shit. Yeah. It's gonna come back. Yes. Ah! Okay, so does everything else. Worth it. 
But yeah, I, I think that was part of why Mario was so successful was because it was because it was easier. It allowed it to hit a, a wider audience. Um, and Mega Man, I think that's one reason why it had much more of a niche audience. Like it was definitely super popular. Um, okay, wait, but I don't know. I, I jump like this and then dang! Oh, I have no idea how you get there. Interesting. I don't know how you get there. All right. Well, to get through the boss door, you just ride that one down, I think. But you would think to. Oh, uh, I guess yeah, there's but nothing I need to get up the there in the first place. Yeah. You need to ride that guy up. Okay. Okay. So I can easily get up there. The question is, how do you get to that? What was there that here? I don't think there was anything through there. Yeah, there is. Is there? Here, I'm gonna get hit the moment I can, what, I can do this, and then I oh, get hit. Oh, there's a ladder. There's a ladder. And then that may, must lead to the E-tank that we saw. Unless Look at that. You, can, That's if smart. If you slide, will you cross gaps? I tried that. Oh yeah, I wasn't paying attention. Yeah. That's okay. I forget <laughs> you. Huh. I don't know. I mean, maybe it's there why just to be mean. That? Why would I Why did I think that was a good or, idea? Or more likely, maybe that was an exit point. Rather than an entry point. Oh, maybe. Ah, yeah, that would make a lot of sense. No. Boom. That's so smart. Well done. Oh. Ah, yeah, no boss. I guess they kind of figured that the level itself was difficult enough. And we had talked about this in, in Mario Maker 2. Like, he was able to design an entire level based off of one object. Yeah. Yeah. It was, uh, here's, here's this it's, moving it's platform. It's Nintendo design. Yeah, really. <laughs> pick one thing, design an, entire, de design an entire level based off that one concept or object. But it was really cool to see how they, they used that in so many different ways. Even at the end, how to get through that final door. It's like, huh, never thought of using these platforms this way. To, like, close a bridge. Yeah. And, and that's bridge. obviously something they didn't think of in most of the, most Mega Man games, like, until later on. So, mm -hmm. yeah. I will say one thing I'm excited for, and obviously we talk about this more next episode when we're making levels. <laughs> one thing I'm excited for is to see them actually put in all of the assets for all the bosses and, and uh, the the armor pieces from Mega Man 6. Because Mega Ooh, Man X is not I didn't know armor. they had that. Yeah, uh, it, Mega Man 6 is when the armor first really came in. And they had like a, a jet boost one and then like a, like a heavier armor that I don't, I don't remember what its full benefit was, but... I didn't get to play Mega Man 6 as much, but it's actually, in my opinion, the best Mega Man. Hmm. So it's... People might fight me on it, but... Fight him. Fight, fight. <laughs> This isn't Final Fantasy where I can, like, complain about certain things and be like, Yeah, I said it, fight me! <laughs> <laughs> I think after Final Fantasy, that became my catchphrase for a while was, Fight me! <laughs> oh, man. Alright, cool. So we're super excited. We're gonna come back and we're gonna make some levels. Yeah! And, uh, I think we're only doing two episodes on this in this recording session, but you get into Mega Maker and you want us to check out your levels, throw them at us. Yeah. And we might do it on the show. Maybe we'll even be like, oh, yeah, if you, uh, if you uh, thumbs up our level enough, we'll make another one. Ooh. And pull off that bullshit. It'll be great. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to social marketing. <laughs> All right, everybody. Uh, question of the day? Question of the day. Um, well, we haven't seen the tools yet, so we can't talk about that. Um, how do you... Okay, here we go. How do you feel like... Well, we, you're right. We haven't seen the tools yet. <laughs> Shit. Okay. I mean, How do you we, think that the online system um, oh. encourages players to make levels and share yeah. them? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Boom. I think that's good. Cool. Well, we're super excited for the next one. See you soon. Bye.